Good morning, Scotland. Welcome to Scotland HQ Live. How we doing, everyone? <laughs> it's so exciting. 23 years, cannot believe it. It's happening. So here we are every morning from nine o'clock at the Dry Gate in East London. My name is Gordon Smart. I am the drinking woman's Jamie Dornan. I will be with you for the next 10 days with great guests, some prizes, games, all that carry on. Please join us, Facebook, YouTube, all the social media channels. And former relatives in Fife, you can join us in Bebo as well. Remember, you can use that hashtag uh, ScotlandHQ if you want to get in touch, send us questions, abuse, compliments, whatever you fancy, we will be listening. Great to have you. So excited about this. 23 years, this is actually happening. So let me tell you what we've got going on. We will have Super John McGinn live from the camp today. My restraining order will allow us to speak to him. Cannot wait for that. Gogsy's guest list today, number one band from West Lothian. The Snuts, we've got Jack Cochran, frontman of the band. We'll have a little recap of yesterday's incredible show. It was amazing. Fair play to Lewis Irons for hosting that. It was a great gig. And we'll have a recap of my father-in-law winning the darts yesterday, which I will never stop hearing about from this day forward. Can't stand that man, Jimmy. <laughs> it's going to be a big show today. And as I say, we are here for the next 10 days. Get in touch. Hashtag Scotland HQ. We are with you on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on YouTube. And as I say, in Fife, we're on Bebo. Great guests. Great guests. As I say, coming up, remember Jack Cochran will be with us. And I want to give you, before we get to him, a little bit of a recap of what happened yesterday. Here was the 10-hour show from the Dry Gate in Glasgow, starting with the open goal rascals. A bit leery. A bit leery. <laughs> I love those boys. You know, so I asked Cy Ferry yesterday if we go and watch the show uh, at the, wherever he is, SWG3, and he said uh, it was fully booked. Guest list was completely packed, didn't he let me in? <laughs> Not fair, is it? Disgusting human being. Right, let's get going. We've got a guest for you. Gogsy's guest list, number one act from West Lothian. I would say the most talented musician, even more talented, Lewis Capaldi. Jack Cochran from the Snuts. How are you doing, Yo, Jack? How's it going? You man? Good to see you, Jack. How's it going? Thanks for having me. It's been too long. You look too fresh faced for a rock star in the morning. That's it. The pandemic's changed everything for me. <laughs> I'm just a, a fitness freak now. Rock, right. rock and roll out the window, all about the football. Disappointed in you. Absolutely disappointed. <laughs> in you. Listen, I'm going to take full credit for giving you your first play on the radio a few years ago. And I tell you what, in the last two years, what an incredible time, eh? Number one album, WL. Doesn't get much better than that. Well, it was always a plan to put out our first record in the middle of a global pandemic, <laughs> so I just went straight to plan. Aye. I mean, to be, to be fair, it has been pretty crazy, hasn't it? You know, getting locked away. But I think the last gig I saw pretty much before lockdown was you guys at the Scala in, in King's Cross with the old uh, Buckfast on stage. That's it. And London, being a Scotsman playing in London is always yeah. the most terrifying thing you can do. It's a strange thing, isn't it? Because you've got like this, this London crowd's famous for being pretty rubbish, but Aye. half the crowd was Scottish going absolutely That's mad. it. That's a pretty leery, pretty leery. I mean, funny, thinking back to that, though, Jack, you know, it's weird, we would never have considered that you'd have been locked away for a year after that. That's it. It's been nice though, you know, it's been nice yeah. just kind of getting to work on your craft a bit and you can yeah. still kind of connect with people with the music and it's kind of a yeah. nice gift to give people at the moment, so. Too right. How did, did you manage to celebrate the number one properly? Oh no. <laughs> uh, just in the house with a cup of tea. Yeah, good man, good man. <laughs> Covid compliant and all the rest that's of it. That's it, that's it. Right, let's talk about the Euros. Um, Jack, have you got plans? Have you got it all worked out? Is there a WhatsApp group going? What are you doing? Uh, I'm mostly watching the house, going to try and head down to the fan zone at Glasgow Green, Aye. Um, see a bit of that, um, maybe go to London, hopefully be working in London and get to see the yeah. big one down there. So. Have you got a ticket? Oh, uh, no, no, but I'll need to speak to a man who knows a man. You'll know a man, <laughs> we'll make it happen. Gordon Smart. I know. <laughs> tell you what, that list is getting long now. Like, you know. <laughs> um, listen, just thinking about it, right? if you were a 14-year-old now, which player would you have on a poster on the wall in this squad? And this squad, Kieran Tierney, all day. I know it kind of goes by in time, but he's just a hero to me still. Yeah. I remember one time I actually met him, and they always say, you know, it's always disappointing when you meet your heroes, but yeah. I kind of, he was we were supporting Jake Bug. And uh, I walked around the corner, we had just played full of adrenaline, had a bottle of wine in my hand. I walked around the corner, last person I expected to see, Kieran Tierney, I just looked at him straight in the eye and I just shouted, 
Kieran Tierney. <laughs> and then he ran away. Did you? You just couldn't hang around? I didn't know what to say to him, just uh, starstruck. He loves his music, he, he I doesn't know. I'm sure I saw him at um, a Jerry Cinnamon gig as well. And, and listen, he could be Arsenal captain for years, couldn't he? Absolutely, he could be anything. See, if you were Stevie Clark, how do you solve that conundrum of Andy Robertson and Kieran Tierney? They both have to play, eh? I, see, I think that's right. You know, there's been a lot of debate about it, but I think just get them both in the park. <laughs> exactly. Here, listen, I've got, what year were you born? Uh, 94. 94, right. So you'd have been, what, four years old at France 98. Do you have uh, any recollection of No right recollection at all? at all. This is the only time I've ever seen this happen. Right. Oh, so, so what's your first Scotland memory, then? Um, Painful one, probably. It's actually, I think it's quite a good one. I think... Um, I went with my dad to uh, see Holland mm -hmm. versus Scotland. I think it was actually one we won. Aye, uh, McFadden, wasn't McFadden. it? McFadden. Aye. Aye, and it was like a total, you know, it was the same as a goal for right back in the past. Aye. Uh, but beautiful. What are, they, what are the snuts like as footballers? Actually, well, two of them are not interested at all, more kind of take a commentating position. <laughs> um, Jordan, the drummer, he's the second best player in the band. Aye. And then there's me. So that's how it goes. Uh, that's how it goes. <laughs> Um, Jake Buck's not a bad player, have you had a game of him yet? Not at all, we played with, uh, played with the vaccines when mm. we were in Spain and it was kind of a battle of the front men. I'm quite a poacher, a lazy player oh, yeah. and he was, he's a striker as well but yeah. he was all over the park, had some game but never got a goal and I scored a wee Henrik Larson chip in the last minute of the oh, game. Yes. So. You've got a bit of the Georgia Cadetti hair. Well, actually, I've, got, I've got a classic footballer's hair, do you like? So. <laughs> That's the most important thing, isn't That's it? That's it, it's all that matters. Now, just thinking ahead to this next week, like, I, I mean, uh, have you thought about us getting through, is that something that you've considered? See, I'm quite cynical, but I'm going to try and get on the train and say, yes, it's going mm -hmm. to happen. Mm -hmm. Could happen, couldn't uh, it? Definitely. Stephen Clark's a brilliant manager, and isn't It's he? a great young team, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like the players all seem to bond well in the park. Aye. I think that's been one of the problems for Scotland in the last kind of decade, is you know, players coming for different players, yeah. uh, teams, sorry, and not kind of working well together, but this team seem to get on like a house on fire. What do so. you make of the Yes Sir, I Can Bookie carry on with Baccarat? Ah, well, see, I was, I was trying not to cover it, see, when we first got through, Aye. I was like, come on, you've got to sing this song, got to sing this song, but I managed to avoid it. Have you got a favourite <laughs> Scotland song? Um, I don't know, actually. I, was my, I love that McTominay tune, have you heard that? No. You know, so it's um, in the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight, have you heard but, that? No. McTominay, McTominay, Belter. you can do the high bit, right? right. McTominay, <laughs> McTominay. <laughs> And <laughs> you go to the high <laughs> We should know, we can't get that, we can't get that. Um, darts, I want to speak to you about darts. So we've got the dartboard in here. We played yesterday during the 10 hour show. My father in law, Jim Leishman. Amazing. He's a West Lothian legend, isn't legend. he? Legend. Uh, did you support, you didn't support Livingston a wee bit when you were younger, did you? A wee bit, I think we went to maybe, um, you'd sometimes go to like a cup final or that, you get tickets for the school, they're kind of like your B team. <laughs> <laughs> but no, now they're big. Big competitors now, I love your lines. They're not, uh, big Leishman, right? Big Leishman yesterday, he did pretty well. And I'll never hear the end of this, he got the highest score. And you're going to have to beat this at the end of the show, right? So let's have a little look at uh, Mr Leishman, the Province of Fife, MBE, Fellow of Carnegie College, Google me hen, playing darts. I can't believe he's done this. <laughs> can't believe he's done this. Here's your darts here. Grab these three, and uh, once you've thrown, I'll get you to sign the wall. Super. Is this a mark? The value of this wall is skyrocketing, by the way. Do we get every signature? Go for it. No practice darts. Three darts, one take you. It's not a bad start, by the way. Yeah, he's got a good technique on him. Not bad at all. Third and final dart, Jim. Oh, by the way, what we've got? What are we looking at there? Four hundred and thirty. Forty-two. Yeah, I'll leave this to Jim. Sixty. Oh, good take the lead. 42. 42, yeah. Plus 14 is 56. And 20. 86. 86. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jack, I'm not having that, by the way. Did you? I think that was 76. Can we have a steward's inquiry about that? Because I think he's cheated. He's absolutely done you there. He has done me. Jack, you can beat that. Live. Uh, get a shot, get a shot. Is there a little bit of darts in the, in, when you're in rehearsal rooms and all that with the band? Uh, not really, kind of in the local pubs, but they're like from Whitburn, but they're mostly used as weapons. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> we can't condone that behaviour, <laughs> cannot behave that. Right, we treat Jack. I'm so excited about this because uh, we're going to bring in the great man, Super John McGinn from Thank Scotland God. HQ. With a little bit of luck, he'll be joining us on Zoom right now. Is John McGinn there? We've got Super John. Hey! 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 Super John McGinn! 
the restraining order no, is in place. It. How are you doing, Super John? You all right? I'm good until uh, Jack said that Katie's going to be the poster on his wall. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> You've done yourself. No, I'm not a modern you? person, but that certainly made me angry, so I'm ready to go. What you got for me? Let's do it. What time are you at your bed this morning, John? Are you just being dragged out there now? No, do you know what? I got a phone call at 20 past 8 to remind me at the, about the interview, so... I'm not great in the morning, actually. I've uh, burned all my er energy last night heckling golfers <laughs> at the hotel here. <laughs> um, not one of them hold up, up um, but they all took it in good spirits, and we eventually got eventually got somebody to hold up, up and uh, the gaffer clocked me running about with my top off. So uh, it was a wee bit, wee bit too much. So I burned all my energy last night. I'll conserve a wee bit towards the end of this. Hey, listen, John. I saw you on Instagram swung in a golf club the other day and I tell you there was a lot of moving parts there. What was it Shakira says the hips don't lie? And it was a, that's a wonky swing you've got a great footballer. But oh, that, well if you if you do a half swing it means you, there's less chance of hooking it or fading it so I thought we half swing yeah. right on the middle. That actually went on the green believe it or not but it is a horrible swing it just sums up my unorthodox <laughs> athleticism <laughs> it was on the dance floor but miles away from the band uh, who's the best player in the squad at golf john oh well we did we did get a wee a wee hit uh in spain I'm trying to think nathan patterson's good mm -hmm. robo's good that was that was my team nathan patterson robo and greg taylor they can all play there's a few there's a there's a right good few golfers um the best one. There's a couple of sneaky ones in there, by the way. Aye. The old guard, Craigie, Marsh. Yeah. They can play, but I'll go Big Granty, Grant Hanley. Grant Hanley. He's got the binoculars at the GPS, <laughs> he's like that. <laughs> nice the kid on he doesn't play, but I know when you're brought in the freeze, it's uh, it's golf or Queen's in it, so he's golf. Yeah. You mentioned there that you had a bit of a, a bit of a energy expelled last night, but how how are you sleeping at the moment, John? Are you just not just so excited it's hard to get to your kip at night. I the excitement's there, but you kinda this is what you've been working towards, so it's a bit of forcing yourself to do something else, watch different things, don't try and get caught up in it too much and burn all your energy. Um I'm saving my energy for the, the golfers on the eighteen tier <laughs> at, at Rockcliffe. Um but no, it's it's a bit switching off now, it's getting close to the game, so it's getting getting serious and the whole experience will, won't really be the same if we don't do ourselves justice. So it's getting a balance of seeing the buzz, seeing everyone looking forward to a nice social distance pint and um, whether they can celebrate or not, it's not up to me, but uh, I'm hopeful that quarter to four on, on Monday there'll be, there'll be a massive celebration. Brilliant stuff, John. Now we've got uh, Jack from the Snuts here. What's the music like in the camp? Who's in charge of the tunes? And I want to make sure that the Snuts are on that playlist as well. No, the snuts are on there because KT's the man. KT, yeah. you can go from the snuts, you can go from, who have we got, Cindy Lauper, <laughs> Lulu, everyone's on there, but he's a, he's a, he's a class DJ, to be fair. Um, yeah. Keeps us going. He kept us going that night in Belgrade. Um, KT doesn't drink, he's teetotal, but when there's, there's a speaker there and there's responsibility, KT's there, so. Yes. We've got uh, Jack and... A few other artists for West Lothian as well, but we'll not get dragged into who's who's better. <laughs> um, uh, no, but the the honestly get bored of saying it. Everyone's been saying it this week. The 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 team spirit and uh, the big word that Evdy uses that nobody can spell camaraderie um, <laughs> is superb here, and I think it will stand us in good stead for the tournament. I know there's a wee bit of expectation, but there's no nerves here. This is what it's all about, and. Hopefully we can go and do ourselves justice. Brilliant. Jack, you got a question for John? Ah, it actually kind of leads up into that. What's your big song to get yourself pumped up before the game? What's it going to be? Oh, I'm, a, I'm a weirdo. It'll be Ness and Dorma now. So <laughs> just get, get yourself right in the zone. For jelly on. No, <laughs> I, I'm a weirdo. I, I like to watch different things. I, <laughs> I'm on YouTube all the time. And if I can't sleep the night before a game, um, I watch the tearjerkers on... YouTube, America's <laughs> Got Talent and stuff Superb. like that. Hi. Saw Happy a magician days. last night and I was I was nearly gone. I had to turn my laptop off. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say that. It was a wee video about um, it was a family in America that had adopted someone. Uh, and basically their theme was not basically praising themselves for, for adopting a child. It was 
praising the the parent for giving the, the child up and giving her the opportunity for a better life. So if you think I'm watching clips of Scotland or, or something <laughs> else, you're, you're at it. I'm watching YouTube. Do you know, I don't make myself, make myself feel sad. You've got three clips on that phone, the overhead kick, 21-5-16, <laughs> and the volley when you hit the crossbar for uh, Aston Villa and I went in. That's what you watch, isn't it? Aye, no, I watch them as well. I've got Ian Crocker's commentary down to a tee now. I'm not doing it. But, uh, sometimes after the Scotland games, he's based in the Midlands, so sometimes I would meet him on the train and Aye. I couldn't take him seriously because I'd just be pitching him behind a screen. Uh, oh, no, nah, I'm not doing it. I'm really done it there. Right, John, you know, I'm, I'm one of your biggest fans, right? I think you're an incredible footballer, huge Hibs fan. And my son as well, Jimmy, who you've been kind enough to send a message to on his birthday in the past. Jimmy has recorded a question for you as well. So an 11-year-old boy, my son, Jimmy Smart, with a big question for John again. Here it is. Hiya, my name's Jimmy, and I'm 11 years old. But my dad was wee, he had a bogey collection. Who got the most disgusting habit on the Scotland team? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you can't beat a bogey just as long as nobody's <laughs> watching, Jimmy. Don't worry about that. You can't beat a bogey. Uh, try to think. We've got, we've got a few wild characters. That's a great question. Last time I saw Jimmy, it was under the stand at Old Trafford, remember Gordon? I do. Uh, we just played Man United and bumped into Gordon and, uh, and Jimmy. So, Jack. Gordon definitely knows a man that knows a man. Don't you worry about that. Oh, no. <laughs> He's big time. And, um, <laughs> who's got the worst habit? Ifty's pretty hygienic because of COVID, so nobody's nobody's picking on us at dinner. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Have trying a think. to think, but Have I, a think. I, it's, it's, it's probably me doing something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not that bothered, but if, if a bogey's there to come out, it comes out, doesn't it? That's it, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> last, last question, John. I'm told that you're going to bring something every day or the squad are going to bring us something to give away. Have you got a, an offering from the Scotland HQ for us today? Uh, I've, got, I've got a couple of things, actually. So I've got, uh, we've got given a personalised oh. tape measure. <laughs> <laughs> you it says, I'll go up to the screen, you can see it. It says, can you see it? I've just it says, John again, you're a 20. You. 20. There we go. Oh, if so, I want one of them. I used to be a Jaina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so when people, so I, I'm hopeless, man. So when people come to my house uh, to do a bit of work and say they forget their tape measure, I'm, I have no chance. So, <laughs> I, so my uncle came to fix something in my house a few weeks ago, and I had an MS gentleman's guide with a screwdriver in it. <laughs> is that um, an Andy Robertson's player's gift uh, box, is it? I've got my strip for the Luxembourg game. Say fair. Um, so. That can go along with the tape measure. And if you want to measure how wide it is. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. John, just very quickly before you go, what is, the, what is the mood like in there? I mean, is it optimism or excitement? Is it, how's it feeling? Um, there's, a, there's a nice feeling. Uh, brilliant place to, to come and prepare, but uh, I, 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 I'm only speaking for how I feel and I'm, I'm buzzing for it. No nerves whatsoever. This is what you train for. This is what you dedicate your life for. Um, and when you're on the training pitch, I feel relaxed. I don't know about all the other boys. Um, it's just a job and you get used to it. The bigger the occasion, the better you play. And hopefully everyone has that same feeling and uh, the positivity and confidence can go in and we can give this tournament a wee fright. Brilliant stuff. Super John again. Thank you very much for joining us. Hopefully we'll see Thanks, you again Gordon. in the next 10 days. Thanks, Take care, Super John again. I love that man. Love that man. Bro. What about that tape measure? Legend, man. Legend. I'm one of them, by the way. Unbelievable. You Brilliant stuff. That. Love it. Right, Jack, I believe you've brought some questions with you today. We've got a little section called Smart Arse, where apparently I'm going to be showing up for not knowing enough about the Scotland team. you got some questions some for me. Some tough ones here for you. This better not be embarrassing, eh? Difficult. This is your moment. This is what we've been waiting for. So, it's kind of higher or lower kind of situation right. we're going with here. Who has more caps, Willie Miller or Kenny Miller? Willie Miller. <sighs> Kenny Miller. Oh, a bad start, what that a terrible is start. Terrible start. Here we go again. How many did he have? More than you probably want, I think. <laughs> here we go. go higher on. or lower? Is Christian Daly higher or lower in caps than Kenny? Higher. Lower. Oh. Come on. 
Come on. This is going well, eh? Brilliant. Here Excellent. we go. Is Alex McLeish higher or lower than Christian Daly? Higher. Alex McLeish is one of the He's most higher. Here we ah. go. Yes! Man. I'll take that. How oh many have you got? You've got more on there? Oh, aye, there's more there. I need to redeem myself. Is Jim Layton higher or lower than Alex McLeish? Lower. Higher. Oh, is he? One out of four. Unbelievable. That's enough, actually. That's enough of that. One mil. One mil. I'll give you one for the end. <laughs> Is Dan Fletcher higher or lower than McFadden? That's a toughie. That is a tough one, that. Uh, I'm going to say lower. Higher. Oh, no. Absolute stinker. Where did you find this guy? Right, <laughs> let's do some darts, shall we? Should we do some darts? Uh, before we do the darts, though, I thought we should have a little look back at some madness that happened yesterday. Somebody came in here and got a tattoo of Davy Marshall. I can't believe this happened, but take a look at this. Unreal. You see it? <laughs> Tattoos because we've had some crazy stuff happen on the show. I don't know if you saw earlier, we had a Scotland fan in who, back in that night in Serbia, tweeted basically saying he's going to get a David Marshall tattoo on his leg. Right, okay. Right, it's become a reality. We've got him back. He was in this morning, he's been away, he's just offset right now. Oh, wow. We're going to bring him in. <laughs> Daniel, how are you? Craig, how are you doing? He's got a few tattoos already. Could blend in. Really good, actually. Marshall on your leg. I'm pretty sure I um, did I say I'd pay for that. I'm happy to send the funds because I didn't think he'd actually get through with that. So, um, aye, pretty good, pretty good standard to be fair, and uh, a real good likeness. But I'd like to see what his missus thinks about that tattoo. To be honest, not she's too happy about it. Well done, mate. He says he doesn't regret it, but I think, I think that's lies. Where, where does it go next with his tattoo? I'm glad it was on his calf. Maybe somewhere. Um, Maybe we get one of the little lads on, so maybe we could go for maybe a, a John again. Yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable stuff. And he paid for it as well. Right, this is Scotland Live HQ. We're going to get into the darts now. Yesterday, my father-in-law, Jim Leishman, is top of the leaderboard after throwing 86. But we've got Jack from the Snuts, and I think he's going to beat him. I've watched them in rehearsals. He can throw some arrows. But before you go, Jack, I thought I'd lead the way and have a chance to redeem myself after those terrible questions, right? Nice habit. So, right hand, I'm going to go for this. Three darts, highest score. Four, that's gash. Oh, I went doubles. I we you left-hander. 24. 24. I was going to cheat there and say I got a double at the top. Right, beat that, you got here 24 go. to beat. Here we go. Rubbish. Here he goes. Oh, which way is the wind blowing? Four. It's not a great start. He's played this game before. 12, 12 16. Oh, 17. Come on, Jack. Can okay. you sign the board for us? Take a oh, sharpie, mate. sign the board for us. Give us, just lie about your score. Put something else on. Great stuff. Right, thank you very much, Jack. From us, that's absolutely superb. Uh, super John McGinn. Remember, we are back tomorrow from 9 o'clock, Scotland Live, HQ. More brilliant guests and plenty of other dart throwing and other shenanigans. Right, we'll be back tomorrow. Come on, let's get excited. Scotland HQ Live. Hello. Hello.